If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to see how you can leverage hamster in Windows. In last video, we have seen how you can leverage hamster in Mac OS, where it will be able to launch your JMeter. It can launch your JMeter recent test plans from your menu bar. Similarly, in Windows, you can do everything from your status bar. Just head to QA Insights slash hamster here github.com and go to your downloads or releases section so here you can download your hamster msi package by clicking on this particular link but before that let us quickly see the features of hamster in windows operating system so here as you see it supports various features for example you can launch your independent jmeter from windows and also you can launch your recent test plans from your status bar and also you can set your jmeter home and then you can view the configuration and you can refresh your test plans so it will refresh all the test plans in your right click menu and also it doesn't have telemetry in windows i have not implemented it but in the pro version we have more features which will be releasing soon this month now let us go to releases section and download the msi package so this will download and once it is downloaded, it is done. You can just open it and click on OK for the very first time. And also you will get this pop-up. So you have to click Run anyway. So this will install Hamster in this particular location. So note down the app data slash local. This is where your properties file also will be placed. Now click on Next. So just like any typical installation in Windows, just follow the wizard and click on Finish. So once it is done, you can open your hamster by launching your start menu search and click on hamster. So this will keep your hamster at the status bar. As you see here at the bottom right corner, if you just right click, you can see your hamster. And if you right click it, you will see the menu launch JMeter, recent test plans, view config and other options. So now let us go back to the GitHub repository and let us quickly go through the hamster properties. So this is the properties by default, it will be packed with your hamster. So you have to mention your JMeter tag here. And also you can uh, mention the uh, JMeter home. So right now it is pointing to C tools and Apache JMeter 5.6.2 as of this date. So now let us uh, quickly config the JMeter home. Just right click on hamster and click on view config. And here, as you see, by default, it is configured to see tools, JMeter 5.6.2. Now, if you want to change, you can just click on configure JMeter. And here you can configure the JMeter home path. Do not map it to bin folder. Just above the bin, you can just map the JMeter whole folder. So now let me quickly launch JMeter. So once you click on launch JMeter, it will automatically launch your default JMeter version so in this case it is 5.6.2 so this will take a couple of uh, seconds based on your mission speed jvm etc so once it is done you can see your jmeter splash screen so now let me close this and now let me launch the uh, recent test plan so here my recent test plan is uh, qnsets.jmx if you just click on it it will automatically launches your particular uh, test plan in your default jmeter in this case jmeter 5.6.2 so again it takes a couple of seconds to launch and once it is done you can see the splash screen and also the test plan so by this you can quickly launch your test plan just from your status bar so no need to navigate to your jmeter folder and open command prompt or you can use uh, you know uh, shortcuts so there is no need for these hassles just install this right click open start scripting your test plan so that is why I created this so that I can increase my productivity and it will also help others. That's why I put it in github.com so that you can everybody can leverage this for free. Hamster Pro is coming soon this month. So Hamster Pro, it will have more options. So basically you can pass more arguments to your uh, default JMeter and also you can configure multiple versions of JMeter. I will post a video soon once it is done. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights.
YouTube-Channel.